What's going on, everybody? Kwaku here, back with another video. Today's video is kind of an experimental one because this app is not really something you'll really need to use or want to use on Xbox mostly. Um, this app review is for Files and Folders Pro. They do have a light version that does less features. Um, but this is for the Pro version. Right now, you can get it a trial on the Xbox Store. So let's let's take a look and see just how interesting or how it could possibly work some use cases for this application on the Xbox console in this video. And here it is, here is Files and Folders Pro. This is the Pro version. There's a free trial out the developer FineBits created for people to try it out the pro version which allows you pretty much in part to take get rid of ads and also allows you access to cloud storage like built into the app so you'll be able to sign into your OneDrive, you'll be able to sign into your google drive and so on but getting started right off the bat you're greeted with this menu here this is your usual windows 10 menu on everything for apps uh, and you can see the titles there the navigation you have recent you have browse you have buy 399 even though i'm using the pro version so technically i don't need to buy um you have refresh you have rate our applications about and personalization now in this app review i'm going to actually go in reverse order like I'm, than i normally do so i'm gonna start with personalization and you got a bunch of themes on personalization and languages that you can change internal viewer you can hide file extensions you can hide uh media files preview so it won't show you a preview of the media that you're trying to see and then you see here that uh under navigation which is right here which we'll get to in a second at the end of the video uh, these things are checked are unchecked essentially they're off and these are because i don't want it to show it because i'm not actually using them um, and then you have google drive is on because i finally signed into google drive so that's what i'll show you in terms of cloud storage then you got ftp yandex disk and then you got themes so i'm going to go with for this video i'm going to mm, i'm going to go with sunny day for this video so just to make it a little brighter and hurt your eyes a little bit more so then you got the about which if you know me on this channel with all the app reviews i love when developers include an about so that way if you have a problem or whatever it is you can quickly find their social media or whatever it is click those links and they'll go directly or send an email to them you can buy an app because you see i'm in the trial of the app the pro version it's a seven day trial you can see the language translations who did them and all that stuff it's really nice uh, and then going up further, we have our applications, which this is developed by FineBits OU. So you can see all of their applications that they make. They have an all-in-one pack that you can download of all their applications, which includes pro versions of all their applications. Um, and so that's nice that they have that showcasing their applications. Uh, they have rate, which allows you to rate. And then they have refresh buy 399 which gets you out of the trial and just gets you in it permanently for 399 i think that's a sale it's normally 999 uh, you have browse recent navigation and then the menu area title area now before i even click on this area here uh, i have one gripe to say and it's that when i scroll up and down with the problem that i see here is that the title files and folders pro uh, and the menu uh, disappear when i when i scroll like it just disappears for some reason it's part of this navigation area here and i don't know why i kind of feel like it shouldn't be part of it i feel like it should float it should hover so when you scroll down you still see the menu and the title and everything like that because if i close this out you don't see the title or anything i feel like it should float um i feel like what should happen is these two elements should float this should always be there because it's part of the icon section right so when you click the drop in the menu, you don't see the title, which is fine. But for some reason, even when you scroll with it collapsed, you still don't see the whole menu area like collapses, which is kind of weird. So I feel like this should float and this should float when it's expanded. And then when it closes, you only see the icons and that's it. But these should always float when it's open like this. So the next thing that I have to say is I'm going to go to browse. Now, Browse takes you out of the app and puts you in a different kind of listing kind of area. Now, this is the recent, obviously. I believe this is the Xbox's interface for files and just managing files. Um, so you see that it takes you kind of out of the app. Um, it says press that button to go in and out of the app. So if I press it, it goes down. I can select and do that. This allows you to import um, 
the section you're at into the app. So this is the file structure for the Xbox. You can tell by the Xbox one uh, X logo on it. Um, and then you can see that this is the flash drive that I have plugged into it, which is mainly what I'm showcasing in this app review because there's really nothing you can see on the file structure of the Xbox itself. When you click on any folder, everything is always empty. Um, so going back out, I'm going to just keep going back, press B, press B, press B, and just go back. So we're here now. Now, going to recent, recent is what I've viewed recently, such as when I've been using the app to test it out to see the purpose of it. This is recent. I'm not going to use this area really just because I want to show you under navigation what how things work. So under navigation, you see this area. And this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the review. In this area, normally you would see a whole bunch of the uh, like Yandex, you would see Dropbox, OneDrive, and all those cloud storage solutions, FTP. Um, but I chose Google Drive and then I exited out of everything else by pressing that X. Uh, and then you have local storage as well. So what I did, why you see this under local storage for the Xbox, because I had copied from Google Drive into local storage. And that's really the only way that I've seen so far that I can put things on the local storage of this Xbox. So if I go to Google Drive and I scroll down on my very old uh, Google Drive, I can see maybe this this photo here, or let's say we scroll down uh, and we want to see, I'm not going to do a, eh, oh, it's a 14 megabyte video. So we'll check off my video, which it does work like normal. You can click on the video and view the video. It's, it shows a normal video view. And I can hit copy because up here you have the drop downs and you can see what everything does. Paste, open with, copy, rename. And then you have deselect, delete, and things like that. So I'm going to hit copy. So this copies this selected thing or anything I have selected. And then what I'm going to do is go back to navigation, go to storage, local storage, and you see that this area is blank. So then you see the paste logo is finally there. Hit paste. It says it's copying over. Give it a second. And lo and behold, the video is on. And then you have my old picture here that I took in 20. Eh, it's not really. Yeah, I took it a long time ago. And then if I click the video, it buffers the video and you can see me on the early days of this channel back in May. So going back more, it is and it also is the general video player of the Xbox. There's nothing really interesting to show. That's why I didn't bother showing it. But that's in a nutshell. That's pretty much it for this application. This application is very simple. Um, it can feel confusing. I can tell you that right now it can feel just very confusing with all the little things here and buttons that you press and things like that. I feel like organization is needed for this application to be more user friendly. But at the same time, um, this application, at least on Xbox, the Windows 10 version is great. This application on Xbox, I feel like it's going to be hard. It's harder to make because you don't really use the Xbox's local file system. You just download games from the store and you play the games in my in my games and apps and that's it. Um, I feel like it's harder to make. So I guess if I have something for them to fix in terms of UI adjustments, because that's what I do here is this area here. What I said before, um, I would tell them that when I'm scrolling, let these two float when uh, it's in the expanded view of the menu. Uh, get refresh out of it altogether. Get refresh completely out. Get refresh, even if you're going to add refresh up here somewhere, maybe. Because what refresh does is it refreshes this area. So maybe even move refresh and just pop it up here in this area here, this navigation area here. Because refresh applies to what's up here as far as I've seen. Uh, so get it out of here and put it here uh, for every single view, whether it's local storage, Google Drive, or whatever it is. And then get the buy 399 thing, get it out of there. Let it just be, let it just stay still. Let it just stay like here where the rate and our applications area is. Um, and then therefore you have browse and navigation and navigation shows you your two areas for navigation for now, at least for me. And then browse lets you just browse new things to browse and that's it to add to your navigation. So, just organize that, let this flow, and then when it collapses, let us just see the icons, which is good. And that's about it. That's all I can really say to fix in terms of this application. I feel like once you fix that, the only real people who are going to use this application on Xbox are going to be power users anyway, because no one else really cares about having a file system on their Xbox that, that is pretty much those people watching this video aren't going to care about, are, are the only ones that are going to care about having a file system on the Xbox front. So... 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below about this application. If you use it on your Xbox, I know it works on Windows 10 as well, and it works great on Windows 10. Um, and I might cover that in a later video. But for now, this is the Xbox version. I uh, hope you guys liked it, like I said. And uh, enjoy your Tuesday.